Yeah, so I'm out in front of the ocean enjoying a little vacay, but just to give you an idea of what the S20 FE can do and of course have a good drink. So from Cigar to you all, enjoy the rest of this video. All right, hopefully you guys had a drink with me. I am back from my vacation, and today I'll be talking about the Galaxy S20 FE. So the S20 FE was my device that I used for a lot of my recordings while I went on vacation. And I wanted to capture this device in a way that I think a lot of people aren't looking at. I think there's a lot of value in the S20 FE. I think as a device, you're getting your bang for your buck. Because currently right now, you can pick it up for 529. I'm talking about the 865 variant, which is what I have in my hand right here. This device is awesome. But let's focus on the main parts that I use for this last vacation, the cameras. It's got triple camera system, a 12, an 8, a 12. Uh, one has a 3X zoom, and the camera does a fantastic job. I was capturing video content on my vacation trip uh, down to the Dominican Republic, and it was great to capture the scenery, the people, the environment, the atmosphere. And by the way, I do apologize though, guys. I didn't actually turn on stabilization on video. I didn't realize that, so this is a rookie mistake and apologize. But you can see how clear and vibrant that video is and how it captures everything around you. Now, when you talk about photos with the camera, it does a really good job. Whether you're taking selfies uh, and it does a really good job just capturing you in that moment, in the essence. If you're using the front, the rear cameras as well, portrait photos come out really well. The ultra wide does a really good job at capturing the scenes. I mean, honestly, the Dominican Republic is a beautiful place. You have to go there and check it out yourself, guys. Wonderful people, great time. I had a, a blast going from Punta Cana to Samana, uh, even to Santo Domingo, you name it. Like everywhere just looks great capturing on this device. Now, even at night, taking low light photos came out really well. Low light video is also really solid. And again, I'm going to apologize for the lack of video stabilization. They, I did turn it on at a certain point though, but Overall, the camera stood the test of time, especially for a camera that even last year was a mixture of uh, lenses from the year before and for what we had in 2020. I think overall though, you know, it did what it wanted, I needed to do for me because I didn't need to take my Galaxy S21 Ultra or my iPhone 12 Pro Max when I went out into town uh, to actually just sightsee and capture. This device packs in a lot that you would expect from a Galaxy line and it doesn't feel cheap. That's one of the things I liked about it. Samsung made sure that the S20 FE felt like um, a true fan edition of true, or true respect to the fans. It comes in multiple colors, um, and also the glassic feel is really nice. Uh, you've got all the features you would expect from your the bigger brethren in the S20 Ultra line and so forth. So you've got uh, fast charging, You've got wireless charging. You've also got uh, reverse wireless charging. So you can take, of course, your Galaxy Buds, plop them down, and boom, it starts charging. So those things are great to see. And at that price point that I said earlier, where it's now around 529, it makes for an excellent value even in today. And compared to devices like the OnePlus 9, it's very difficult to not pick the Galaxy S20 FE. Now, performance, you would say. You're like, London E was great last year. What about in 2021? What about the games we love? Look, honestly, it runs the games well. I did a gaming video last year. I'm not gonna do that this year. I'm just gonna tell you what you already know. It games really well. Um, you're playing your Call of Duty Mobile, your PUBG Mobile, even your Genshin Impact. It will run all of those well. Now, Genshin is one that it probably won't run at 60 frames all the way as long as the AAA processor, but it will not heat up as much. And that's the kind of stuff that we all want. You've got a 6.5 inch display, massive, beautiful, 120 hertz display. So you can play games like Vainglory and be like me and be so good at it because I'm great at games like that. Isn't that right, Daniel? Hell no. Okay, yeah, no, I'm not, actually. <laughs> I'm not, seriously. But uh, you get what I'm saying here, is that you can enjoy those games quite well. Now, there's a lot packed into this device that a Galaxy user will respect. 
There's a lot packed into this device that a user will want because of its price point. And I think Samsung has found that balance that is making things difficult for many other manufacturers to actually give people what they want at such a price point. Now, this leaves me very excited for the Galaxy S21 FE. I can't wait to see what that brings to the table. But right now, if you had asked me this question, should I pick up the Galaxy S20 FE in 2020? The answer is yes, absolutely yes. This is the best bang for the buck smartphone you can pick up this year. And nothing, and I repeat, nothing on the market beats it right now at this price point. So if you guys have any questions or any comments about the Galaxy S20 FE, I want to pick it up or any of the accessories I showed you, use the links down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.